Yo, what is good everybody? Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Once again from us over here at Locust Wild Honey. So today's video is a very, very special one as we are adding a new member to the family. Yes, he is going to be a new addition because tomorrow our new puppy arrives. Yes, I'm so excited. We're gonna be heading over to pick up some supplies. Obviously, we have to make the house ready and prepared. We wanna make it nice for our newest member. But before we get started, I did wanna put a full disclaimer out there that of course we are in the middle of a pandemic and it was not our intention or our plan to get our puppy during this time. Uh, this has been a long drawn out process talking back and forth with the breeder and stuff like that. And yeah, this has been a multiple month process. We put a deposit down. This was like a long thing coming kind of thing. So yeah, we didn't just like go out and buy a dog in the middle of this really, really difficult time. Now with that to say, we're trying to do the very best best that we can with the cans that we were dealt and we're gonna try and take this time uh, to just really love on him and stuff like that and um, while we're quarantined while we're inside uh, we're gonna really focus on training and stuff like that uh, we're just trying to take a, a really optimistic view of everything and uh, yeah we're gonna give him all the love and attention that he deserves uh, yeah with all that being said let's go ahead and get out of here all right guys so we're on our way over to Target for our first location the main reason being is because I'm looking for these Kong toys. You guys may or may not have heard of them, but I guess dogs love them and they're an amazing training tool. So uh, yeah, it's funny because all week Gabby and I have been, we've been students and it's been really funny. We've just been watching all these like dog training videos and stuff and I don't know, I'm feeling pretty confident. Okay you guys, we just got here to Target. We're so excited. We're gonna get some, what are we gonna get babe? Supplies for the doggy. Getting the house ready for him. It's a back massager. This is for... <laughs> Yo, what is good guys? So today is the big day and actually my new puppy is just 15 minutes away. I got a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm so, so excited. I've been prepping. You can ask Gabby. I've been watching nonstop dog training videos like all throughout the week. I even have this dog clicker. Got his collar here ready for him, ready to go. Yeah, man, I'm just so excited. I didn't know what else to do with myself. I have like 15 minutes to go. And uh, anyways, in the next clip, we're gonna meet him. I'm gonna get to see him for the first time. Are you ready? He's here. I'm so excited. Let's go, let's go. Guys. Where are we going right now, Gabs? We're gonna go meet him. It's raining. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's holding him. <laughs> oh, he's right there! Oh, hi, hi. what you're waiting for. Oh, hi, hi. oh he's cold. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, honey. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. No oh, it's okay. Don't worry. We got we're you. Home. We're home. Don't worry. Okay, okay Paul. Paul. Come here, wait, 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 how do you feel? Dude, wait, 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 I stop freaking, moving, stop moving so I can get I him. feel amazing. I think he's shivering, he's really oh cold. I think he's scared. He's so scared, hi, baby. Yeah, he's really scared. It's okay, let's go inside. Okay, let's go inside. Let's okay. go inside. How okay, happy are you? For a second. How happy let him, are you? Let him walk, I know I can't Wait, maybe he needs to go potty? Okay, let's put him down. Just for a second, go potty. Oh, yeah. No, he doesn't want to, pick him up, pick him up. Okay, come on. Oh, he doesn't want to. He, oh, he wants to play. He, 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 no, he no, wants no. to play already. Wait, 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 Paul, pick him up, pick him up, pick okay. him up, pick him up. Oh, he wants to come up. Yeah, he he he's kind of confused, I think. Okay. He doesn't know what's going on. What? He, he like jumped into my arms, he's like he's pick so me up. Cute. Welcome home. Yes. Yeah, put him down. You don't need to do anything you're not ready for. Okay, okay you want to go down? Okay. Okay, I'll turn the camera off. Uh oh, he has to go pee. See, he just went like this to the door. He's peeing. Hey, no, carry him, no. carry him. Carry him up. It's okay, it's okay. Just, just make sure you pee over here. Pee here next time. Cooper. <gasps> yes, that is your name. Look it, I got you a toy, look. 
Like, are you, look at a treat, a treat. This has been the easiest dog, dude. That's right, he likes his crate. Huh, buddy? You like your crate? You step in poo -poos? Day one in the books. Wrapping it up for this evening. And a young man is chilling in his crate by himself. Oh, never mind. Yo, what is good, guys? I hope you guys did enjoy that mini vlog of meeting Cooper for the first time. I have to say, guys, he's been every bit as fun and entertaining and every bit of a joy that I could have ever asked for in a dog. And truthfully, I have to say, I consider it a major privilege to get to be his doggy parent. It's been a... Uh, it's been really fun and rewarding. Anyways, as you probably already read in the title of today's video, I did want to kind of share with you guys what it's been like since he's moved in. He's been here for approximately five weeks now, and I feel like I have a pretty good idea of his temperament, what he's like, his personality, his likes, his dislikes, and just the characteristics that make Cooper uniquely himself. And uh, yeah, he's literally everything I expected a toy Australian Shepherd to be. So first off about Australian Shepherds, they're essentially bred to herd sheep. So they're definitely goal-driven oriented dogs. They have very, very strong personalities and can be stubborn at times as it does take a pretty stubborn individual to work with a herd of animals as frustrating as sheeps can be. So that's definitely something I do notice about Cooper. Sometimes he will have such a strong will to stick to a particular activity and taking his attention away from that specific activity can be a little tricky at times, but with the right amount of patience, he's essentially always eager to please. Now, as I've already stated, he's not a standard Australian Shepherd. As a matter of fact, he's not even considered miniature. He's a toy Australian Shepherd, which essentially means he's bred to be a little bit smaller. And this is actually a relatively new breed done through selective breeding, of course. Geneticists were able to select for a smaller breed of Australian Shepherd. And, and this is definitely the case with Cooper. His parents, I believe, are 15 and 14 pounds respectively. And I really don't anticipate Cooper being any bigger than that. As of right now, he's approximately five months and weighs just eight and a half pounds. Now, with that to say, I would definitely conclude that he is very much so Australian Shepherd in the mind in that he is very, very active. He's amazing personality in relation to wanting to please and have jobs to do. So a lot of the time we'll play fetch, we'll run together. A regular thing that we love to do is go on hikes and he thoroughly enjoys that. We play tag on the regular. I would definitely say that though he's a little bit smaller than a standard Australian Shepherd, he does require a lot of exercise, which is something that I actually love to do myself. So it's been a seamless integration into this household. Also something that I was surprised about Cooper is that when I was doing research about Australian Shepherds in general, I knew them to be just extremely high strung and I was expecting him to be so, especially considering the fact that he's a puppy. But surprisingly enough, a solid play session is more than sufficient for him. Like when he crashes out from a play session, then he's like gonzo and he's like, he just knocks out very quickly. Now that might have a lot to do with his age because he is again only five months. But yeah, given all the research that I've done on Australian Shepherds as well as the fact that my friend had an Australian Shepherd growing up, I was expecting just a little bit more. Not that I'm disappointed by any stretch because obviously I have a job and stuff like that, but he's definitely brought a lot of happiness into my apartment and I just really am thankful for him. Now, as it relates to his temperament, apart from being very energetic and playful, this guy has a ton of confidence. It truly is unbelievable so we introduced him to our friend's dogs and he's just pouncing on him with just the utmost amount of confidence now bear in mind we never put him in any jeopardy at all because uh, our friend's dogs are very very tolerant and mature dogs and have been socialized very very well knowing that cooper is a baby but yeah this dog is just very very hyperactive outside of that he is unbelievably smart and trainable about the duration of my life my family's own golden retrievers poodles and a german shepherd and i have to say cooper's been just such a breeze to train crate training was so so easy first night he slept in his crate all by himself he was totally good since he's moved into the apartment he's literally only had maybe two or three accidents and that was because he's either really excited or us as parents weren't really doing our job and didn't let him out at the right time 
and he had an accident during that. But outside of that, it's unbelievable. He will walk up to my sliding door, tap on it, and let us know that he needs to go to the restroom. This dog is truly on another level. He's able to communicate and let us know what he's feeling. It's like the weirdest thing. He's just a truly unbelievably intelligent dog. And like I said, he's definitely goal oriented. As you saw in the vlog, I did purchase a few Kongs and that's actually one of his favorite things. He loves to just kind of figure out how to get all of like the little kibble out of the Kong. And that's been a lifesaver for when I like have a deadline for work or whatever. I put in some wet kibble into the Kong, freeze it and let him kind of work on it. And to him, it's like a mini work reward system where he's trying to figure out how to get all the kibble out. It's really, it's actually really entertaining to watch as well. And learning tricks for the most part has been an absolute breeze. Now, I haven't really taught him everything I want him to learn. So I will definitely continue to work on that. But with that to say, leash training, super easy. The tricks that he knows, super easy. And uh, yeah, like I said, he is an absolute pleasure to have in this house. And I just, I just love the guy. Anyways, like I said, he's five months old now, so he's grown quite a bit. So rather than be real, I'll go ahead and grab him so you guys can see how big he's gotten over the course of this month. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys some live tricks. He's a little, he's a little shy. He doesn't know what this whole camera thing is. But, uh, all right. Hi, buddy. Can I show you to the YouTube channel? <laughs> This is Cooper, my toy-sized Australian Shepherd. As you can see, he's a little uh, high-strung right now. Okay, buddy. Okay. Oh, we're not playing right now. I want to show you guys. I want to show you to my YouTube channel. Can I show you? Excuse me, Cooper. Okay. All right. We need a little incentive. You want to train? <laughs> So uh, he loves training because it's incentivized. See how smart he is? Look how good he gets. Oh, is this what you like? Is it? Okay, so let's have a deal. I'm gonna do a little bit of training with you and give you some treats, but you gotta, you gotta say hi to the camera first. Oh, okay. Okay, I think he's down. Okay, so let's show him. Just real quick, Cooper, can you just say hi real quick to the camera? <laughs> this is Cooper. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> guys okay you, you want to bring your all right he won't let go of his oinky but this is cooper he is five months old now and he's vigorously attacking his oinky but uh, yeah as you can see he's gotten a lot bigger uh from the beginning he's a very active dog and does not want to be held so i'll go ahead and put him down i'm everybody meet cooper <laughs> this is all i got this is all i could do oh my lord oh my lord okay Hey Cooper, you want to trade? I just said a lot of good things about you to everybody. You got a teeth on me right now, bro. Can we do a little training? Cooper, come. Cooper, come. Good boy, thank you. Very good boy. Cooper, sit. Good boy, that's a good sit. Can you lay down? Thank you, that's a great lay down. All right, so I'm not gonna keep you for too long. So can I just get you to roll over? Can I just get you to roll over for me? Oh, he's about to kill it. Hey, Cooper, I still got a treat for you. Come here. <laughs> he's got his boinky. Cooper, come. Cooper, Cooper, come. Cooper, come. Oh, that's my buddy. Thank you. So you gotta get a little bit excited sometimes. It's probably my fault that uh, I'm not getting him engaged. That's probably my fault. Cooper, can you leave that oinky and come here? Oh, thank you. Can you lay down now? Cooper, lay down. Cooper, lay down. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're such a good dog. Okay, so can we roll over? Can we, oh, <laughs> can we roll over, Cooper? Can we roll over? Roll over. Oh, that's my buddy. Thank you, you're so good. Thank you, we are so impressed with you. What about Shake? You wanna do Shake? All right, I'll do Shake. I feel like we capped it at- Do a high five. Okay. Okay, last one though. Cooper, come. Cooper, come. Thank you. Cooper, sit. Cooper, sit. Cooper, high five. Oh, high five. Thank you. Thank you. And that was it, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here because I do want him to get some rest because it's already 8.30. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Really do appreciate the support. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also comment down below what you guys think. 
about uh, young Cooper here. He's been, like I said, an absolute joy. Now, as in everybody here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed.